Well, hey folks, I'm out metal detecting today. It took me a little while to drive here this morning, not out at one of my usual sites. Imagine with me, if you will, you're standing here at this very location. You're looking out across the Tennessee River, which is directly behind me, and you're watching seven Union Navy gunboats line up in attack formation, preparing to launch an assault on this very position. Well, that was what was happening almost exactly 161 years ago today as four ironclad and three timberclad gunboats began to assault the ground that I'm standing on. Ultimately, the Confederate troops that were stationed here evacuated, they retreated. Union forces took over this site, occupied it until about 1863. They eventually abandoned it. And then General Nathan Bedford Forrest and his troops reoccupied this site in 1864. I am here with permission from the owner, the landowner. This is privately owned land. He invited me over and we're gonna to try to dig up some Civil War relics on this property. In terms of excited about a dig, this is about as good as it gets. Um, I'm expecting lots of bullets, relics from the Civil War, who knows? This could, get, this could be a really good day today. So stick with me, let's quit wasting time. Let's go dig some history. Well guys, I haven't been here for just a second. Uh, working a little small area here and already on the board with some lead. That's a split 58 caliber three ringer. Could have been split when it impacted or that may be a, uh, uh, it does look like it was fired there. So probably split upon impact. On the board already. This is going to be a great day. All right, you can see where I'm at here. This big uh, root ball, this tree had fallen over. I thought I'd give it a shot down below. And I got a signal down here. I was right down in here. And it popped out. Look at this. Ugh. That's a fired 69 caliber right there. Outstanding. Well, that's what we're on the hunt for. Look at that. Big pumpkin. Imagine that thing hitting you. All right, working the hillside here. You can see how close I am to the water. Had another scratchy signal down in here, but it's going to be another 69 caliber. Look at that. I don't think that one's been fired. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Alright. Alright, well I had a scratchy 40 signal here. Right down in here, and I've already popped it out. Look at this. That's a spur piece. It's even got the rowel still on it. Outstanding. Oh, man. Oh, that is so awesome. Look at this. Unbelievable. All right. Well, like I said, today's going to be an exciting day. All right, I'm working my way out in the open area. They've been doing some clearing here. And uh, just had a 49 signal. Popped myself a little musket ball. So that's good. On we go. All right, another 52, 53 signal here. Looks like I popped myself another bullet. Is that gonna be a sharps? At least I'm getting a little variety here. That's a sharps. My glove is messed up. It's cold out here today. Let me get that cleaned up and we'll get a better look at it. Absolutely. It's chewed up a little bit, but that's all right. Love digging these Civil War bullets. What an amazing sight I'm at today, guys. I just can't get enough of it. I wanted to show you guys this is part of the original Confederate earthworks right here that I'm standing in at this location. How cool is this? 
Literally walking down the trench lines, they would have been deeper. This is the original outer earthworks anyway. Went all the way down to the river. That's awesome. All right, this is a cool one, guys. I've only ever dug one of these before. It's a little 36 caliber teardrop pistol shot, St. Louis Arsenal, I think. That's a cool looking little bullet. If I remember correctly, that's what that is. I think of only maybe one or two of them down in South Louisiana. Definitely getting some variety here. All right, got another little variation here. 36 caliber Colt. Uh, not too far from where I just dug the little teardrop, so <laughs> somebody was having some fun right in here. All right, we'll do a little live dig here. Definitely going to be another bullet. What flavor will it be? A lot of roots in here too, so. I think that probably got close to it. If I can get my shovel to stand up. Oh, look right here. Another musket ball. 58 caliber. <laughs> Stuff everywhere here. There's so much iron though. A little small coil would do good. But we're gonna keep going. Well, you all may get tired of them, but I'm gonna keep showing them. Because that's what I'm here to dig today. Another three ringer, 58 caliber. Beautiful. I'm just gonna keep stacking them in here, guys. Just keep stacking them in here. Well, I got my first button, or at least a piece of one. <laughs> it's the back of a cuff button. But alas, the front is missing. It's right there on the surface, like a 20 signal. There'll be a button here, though. I'll get a button today, for sure. All right, this one's ringing up a little bit higher. You can see that. I don't know if you can. 57, 58, right in that range. A little bit higher than a three ringer, probably a 69 caliber. Just gotta deal with these roots. A little bit different than field digging, but that's all right. That is all right. Sun shining bright today, it's warmed up. Oh. Right down in here. See if we can get to it. Oh, gonna be another musket ball. I've dug several that I didn't record. <laughs> I've probably got six, six of them, seven of them maybe already. Okay way down there probably seven inches was that little buddy second sharps of the day i mean what else can you say <laughs> it's just these days just don't come often got another little uh 36 caliber teardrop st louis arsenal Second on the day. If I guess if you're if you're tired of seeing bullets, just I don't know, because it's a lot of them here, and I'm gonna keep digging them, and I'm gonna keep showing them. I love them. All right, I'm right beside another uh, fallen tree, 
and I was just waving my uh, detector up in here and I got a signal right up here look at that <laughs> is that gonna be a musket ball right up in here on this tree unbelievable <laughs> that's awesome all right I'm gonna hit this tree hard right here see what else we got all right had another good signal here and I just popped that out 69 caliber look at that <laughs> in terms of bullet digging days Mm, this is gonna rank up there. I've dug I've had a few days where I've dug a ton, but this one's gonna rank up there at the top And that's pretty cool Almost right beside that 69 caliber Got a three ringer. Oh No, that's not a three ringer. What is this? That's a flat base looks smaller too Hmm Some variation uh, I guess that's, I don't know, that may be a little smaller than a 58 caliber. Is that a Merrill? That's not a Merrill, is it? I don't know. I didn't bring my calipers to get a good uh, measurement on any of these, but we will take it. I'm literally standing on top of one of the uh, Earthworks mounds. You can see it right here, and I just dug a 53 signal right there. And guess what? It's another three ringer. I just can't get over how cool this place is. And I, I know I've said that, but you just don't get these opportunities that often. All right, well, I've worked my way over here back on the, uh, the side of the hill facing the river. And I'm actually in one of the trenches, right in the middle of the earthworks. And I just dug that. Very uh, rocky, all the rocks here, stones that were placed here. Got a weird coloration to it. So they just keep on. Well, this is going to be my third button back. I guess it can count for a button and it just crumbled when it came out of there that's actually the front of it right there look at this <laughs> you can see the shield and eagle on it I probably will be able to tell what kind it was let's see <laughs> can you make anything out there I don't know. Definitely a button. Would have been a two-piece. Well, I guess that's going to have to count for my button because I'm not coming up with anything else. All right. Still a cool find. Just a little bit of a drop off right here. All right, it's getting uh, it's getting late in the day. Still down here on the hill, and right here on the surface, another 69 caliber. Man, those things are massive. Today has definitely been all about the bullets. And that's perfectly fine with me. All right, so there is the board. We'll run through the wrap up here. I did leave, uh, I did leave some of the fines with the landowner, uh, just to say thanks to him. And of course, he was interested in, in what what I was digging, so uh, left some of it with him. But here's what I brought home with me and got cleaned up. Some of it, of course, uh, got recorded. Some of it, I didn't. 
Uh, but yeah, so let's let's run through this and uh, talk about a few pieces of it. We'll do the bullets first, I guess. So uh, ended up with uh, five 69 calibers, um, or at least the ones that I brought home. Uh, big version of the 58 caliber mini ball. Did get two. There's that sliced piece or either uh, split. Not real sure, but uh, got two of the 58 caliber. The typical, what's known as you know the typical three ringer, typ typical mini ball. Uh, got plenty of musket balls, uh, different varieties there. These two, one of them I thought was a, uh, I think I referred to it in the video as a uh, 58 caliber. It's not. These are, uh, I think I mentioned it, uh, these are Merrill, Merrill carbines, 54 caliber Union bullet uh, produced, I don't know, 10, 15,000 of these guns. James Merrill was the, uh, the manufacturer, but breech load, Union carbine, 54 caliber. These are cool little bullets. Got two of those. Um, ended up with uh, five sharps, 52 caliber sharps, one nice looking ring tail there. Some of the smaller um, calibers uh, came back with one of the teardrops, the 36 caliber. I think this was probably carved. Might have been a little, little game piece or something. Not sure. Small piece of lead. There's the Colt, 36 caliber Colt, a few other little round balls. Uh, not sure what this piece of lead was. Uh, had some kind of iron attached to the bottom. Got the little keyhole piece there. Um, the uh, harmonica, piece of harmonica reed. Got a big piece of a skeleton key. Look at that thing. That would have been massive. Not sure, Maybe might have been something like the, uh, the strong box for the pay or something, I don't know. But that was big. This is a big piece of iron. I didn't really dig a lot of iron. Uh, there was a ton there. Um, you could spend a day, and, and maybe I'll go back and, and spend a day just digging the iron because I know there's some there's some shells and cannonballs there for sure on the side of that hill um, where the uh, the navy ships were were firing into the side of the uh, the fort there. So did dig this um, a handle off of something. Not sure. Uh, Two buttons here. One's the backing of the cuff button, and then one is the uh, the eagle eye. You can see there that it was falling apart as I was bringing it out of the hole, but ended up being a uh, piece of an eagle eye button. And then the uh, the spur. Uh, I treated it with some anti-rust um, solution, and if if you're not familiar, if you ever use anti-rust. Um, spray or some of the liquid stuff and use it on brass this is actually the way it looks so i decided to go ahead and use the whole use it on on the entire spur and i was happy the way it came out um, I've, I've used it on other pieces of brass before um, piece of the rowel left there i thought about trying to get it to spin but it's pretty brittle and i think i would do more damage um breaking apart than, than trying to uh you know to actually get it to spin i couldn't get an actual firm id on this it's it's one of the box types so i think there probably would have been another spike that came out right back here and by the way i smashed my finger right there if you're looking at what that is um but i think there would have been another spike coming off the back and this would have been like a box type the only thing that's confusing me is those did not have the uh the strap holes and this had something here doesn't like a strap hole it could have been like one of the little um uh, what do they call them? The chain um, block? No, I can't remember it now. I'm losing losing my train of thought here. But this was uh, this was confusing. But take a look at that and let me know uh, let me know what you think on a firm ID. I feel like it's going to be a Union Spur, uh, but you can let me know. So uh, I think that was the highlight for me. Very cool little piece. So the good thing about the uh, the permission, uh, I can go back. Um, you know, in the future and dig some more, but the owner of the lot right next door to the permission that I was at actually came over and, and said I was, uh, I was welcome to come, come over to his spot as well. So plenty more to do there. Um, really spent the day just sort of getting myself used to the, the terrain and, and, you know, kind of figuring out what was what there with the different, um, different levels of earthworks and, uh, trench, trenches that were there so such a cool spot um very very grateful to have had the privilege to go and metal detect there a big thanks to the landowner again um just just an awesome awesome day for me as a uh 
metal detectorist um, and it, someone who's interested in Civil War history. So, so thank you very much. Uh, I think that is going to do it for now. I think I covered everything on the board there. Thanks, as always, for watching. Um, I would expect to see something else, maybe another episode from this site, hopefully in the future. So, all right, we will see you guys next time.